Nigel Cecil, equity as you like it. Especially for Nigel's equitable friends. Greetings, Chakabatis! Strawberries and love to all my equitable friends! Cobblers to your equitable friends! And cobblers to you too! But I'll still send you strawberries and love! Hello, Chakabatis! Nigel Cecil here, moi, as an entertainment entrepreneur, responding in my own inimitable style to my equitable friends who send me their comments, their opinions and questions and ask Nigel, oh, what do you think? And of course, I enjoy responding. And this particular time, Hilary, yes, yes, you've got all the summary, haven't you? Uh, they've been in touch, my equitable friends, and said, Nigel, please could you give a shorter summary version of your last video, one, one, one. Well, well, of course, it had to be long because I needed to give all the background because otherwise somebody would be saying, out of context, Nigel, <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. So here's a summary version. But before we go into it, you know, <laughs> sometimes my emotions run wild <laughs> with anticipation and excitement. And this particular time, after Equity visited the Arts Council in Manchester yesterday. Well, guess what? The General Secretary of Equity used that phrase. We've not heard it for a few months and I just love it. <laughs> More of that in a minute. Because at that meeting outside, the General Secretary made a comment about meeting with the Arts Council. And he said that they were disappointed with the response, but not unexpected. Disappointed with their decision. Disappointed with the strategy. Yes, equitable friends. Uh, the structure of the Arts Council and the policy and their proposals. So with all that disappointment, <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> but it, it looked good. Ah, looking good and sounding good uh, and you can cut the video in full by logging on to Equity's social media accounts where the link is given but guess what uh, somebody actually tweeted to Nigel and said Nigel what did you think of Equity's presentation podium has it been borrowed from a Liz Truss <laughs> indeed but of course, Nigel, uh, listening to the General Secretary of Equity's speech, well, <laughs> my emotions went into overdrive because that phrase came. <laughs> Not heard it for a few months because look at the video and the General Secretary says, levelling up is the lipstick on the pig of austerity. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Now, don't you just love that phrase? Leveling up is the lipstick on the pig of austerity. <laughs> yes, wonderful, whoever created that phrase. Uh, but of course, that sums up for many uh, the current mantra driving equity. Confrontational politics work the best. Whereas, well, Nigel, I think negotiation first works better. Which is why I came up with the phrase, levelling up is the blusher on the griffin of affluence. <music> Negotiation first, levelling up is the blusher on the griffin of affluence. Yes, Hilary, yes, we know you're very affluent, sunbathing again because we're on location, <laughs> but I don't blame you. But where does that leave everyone and the campaign for saving Olden Coliseum? Well, if everyone sits back and says, well, we'll just wait for the Arts Council or someone to give us the money, when is that going to happen? Good as it might be if it does. And indeed, to be able to have the pantomime at Christmas would be marvellous because all those actor working weeks and all the ancillary workers need to be protected and saved. But you know, that phrase, that saying, uh, when a door shuts and slams in your face, usually there's a window open somewhere. 
And the window of opportunity is the fact that Oldham Council have got £1.84 million pounds or so of the Arts Council England's money to promote culture, the arts and theatre within their area. Touring Oldham Coliseum, coming up with an idea. And that's what we need, ideas to show enthusiasm from Oldham Coliseum and everyone else touring Oldham Coliseum. So uh, we took the map of town Oldham and created an emblem like this. touring Oldham Coliseum and an extract there from my last video which explains things in more detail, uh, video 111. And in the past few days, even my equitable friends have come forward and said, Nigel, uh, can we make the faces, the masks, a little bit bolder? <laughs> so to hear is to obey. <laughs> The masks, tragedy and comedy, more bolder. <laughs> and I feel that's what we all need to do, my equitable friends, to help save Oldham Coliseum. Have ideas that are bolder, that promote Oldham Coliseum within Oldham and get everyone involved. That's why touring Oldham Coliseum does appeal to moi. And indeed, somebody said, what would your first production be? And I came up with, with the idea, didn't we? Yes, uh, the theatre, Oldham Coliseum, is renowned for being the most haunted theatre in the United Kingdom. <laughs> so this was the idea for the first production. <laughs> Extract from 111. And following that poster, well, if one could get the touring company going really quick, you could have a coronation event. There we are, an idea, and I'm sure my friends watching and everyone else, when they talk about promoting saving Oldham Coliseum, will have some much better, wonderful ideas. But we need them now, and not next month, but now to show the enthusiasm for saving Oldham Coliseum. <laughs> and of course, the pantomime. It would be wonderful if somehow the theatre was available for the pantomime. But when I discussed that in the previous video, well, I came up by saying, give them the bells, give them the bells. You want to know why? <laughs> give them the bells. The bells, the bells, the pantomime bells, the bells of St. Mary's. And that's why the last video finished off by dedicating my usual joker Rooney to Chris Lawson, the new interim chief executive of Oldham Coliseum. A wonderful CV, a well gifted in pantomime as well, to wish everyone all the best in the campaign to maintain enthusiasm and momentum and involvement with the community of Oldham to save Oldham Coliseum. <laughs> Here's the bells. I'm still laughing after all these years at that one, Hillary. But Hillary's chosen my Joe Rooney as usual. And this time, it's in honour of Chris Lawson, isn't it? Because Chris has produced quite a number of pantomimes successfully, including Jack and the Beanstalk and Robin Hood and the Babes in the Water. So Jack and the Beanstalk, is it? Yes. Joe Rooney. Why did Daisy the Cow have a bell? Just for you, Chris. Why did Daisy the cow have a bell? Because her horns didn't work. 
all right, well, the, the best of luck. And hopefully everybody will come together and give ideas and support to Oldham Coliseum as they face the new challenges. And hopefully we'll see on the road touring Oldham Coliseum. So until then, Shakespearean love and strawberries to you all. Touring Oldham Coliseum. Nigel Cecil, equity as you like it. Keep the bells ringing out for saving Oldham Coliseum. And come on, Oldham Council, get together with everyone and, and give us everyone some of that 1.84 million Arts Council funding so we can start touring Oldham Coliseum. <laughs> <laughs>